Taking back what is yours. Scammers will say or do just about anything to get your personal information and your money. And of course, while we all hope we would never fall for a scam, more people do than you realize. News for Jack's consumer investigator Lauren Verno explains what to do if you accidentally turned over your money. From phishing emails romance scams or fake calls from the IRS. Scammers are very convincing at getting you to hand over your money. But whether you paid a scammer with cash, credit card, or gift cards, the Federal Trade Commission says there's steps to take to try and get your money back. The FTC says if you paid with your debit or credit card, contact the company or bank and tell them it was an unauthorized withdrawal and ask them to reverse the transaction. Now, if you paid a scammer using a gift card, contact the company that issued the gift card. Tell them it was used in a scam and ask for a refund. Keep the card itself and the gift card receipt. Now, what about if you paid using a cash app like Zelle or Venmo? Report the transaction to the company and ask for your money back. If your credit or debit card is linked to the account, report the fraud to your credit card company or bank and ask if they can get your money back. Now, if you sent your cash or any money through the mail, the FTC says contact whoever you sent the package through, whether that be USPS, FedEx, or UPS. Ask them to intercept the package before it can arrive at its destination. And while the FTC says it's not promised you'll get your money back, it's always worth reaching out and asking. And just a reminder, if a company or agency like the IRS contacts you to pay with a gift card, it is always a scam.